Just a little update on the 2004 Competition Orange SVT Cobra. I just love taking this car out and driving it around. One of my favorite places to go is the Ford dealership just for fun, for a nice place to go and park where nobody's going to ding the doors or be around the car. I like to come here with my friends and my brother a lot of times at night too so that we're not bothering any of the salesmen or they're not bothering us as you might see it. It's nice to just go look at the new Mustangs and hang out here even though I honestly have what I like and I'm not interested in buying any of the newer Mustangs. It's just really fun to come to this dealership because when I was about 16 years old I would come here and look at the new Mustangs, the new Bullet Mustangs and the Mach 1s that they would have at the showroom. When I was younger I would actually ride my bike to school in front of this Ford dealership and I would stop and look at the new Edge Mustangs that were put out front on the little uh, cement tables where you could see uh, the new models and stuff and I always just dreamed about having a Mustang and I never dreamed that I could have a Terminator Cobra let alone two and the Mach 1s and the Bullets and all the cars I've had so far so it's really fun to come to this dealership and there's this white GT350 we've seen around town and it was here at the dealer for 72000 and this car is supercharged if you look here it says supercharged on the sticker and this car has been sitting for a very long time. It has an end gauge on it, which I believe are out of production now. Uh, so the car is tuned, and I think it scared off a lot of people because it probably doesn't have a warranty anymore. So with 3,000 miles, it's been sitting very long while other GT350s have come and gone. But anyway, I just like parking here um, where the car looks like it's brand new and just pretend like I'm taking it off the lot and driving it home. When I was growing up, the owner of the dealership here was a family friend, and he was really good to my family and me, and he would let us um, come to the dealer and hang out. It used to be an SVT dealer when he had it, but it's not anymore, so there were no Terminators new at that dealership. There were a few Bullets and Mach 1s, but like I said, no Terminators, so I would go look at the new Mustangs, but I never got to see a Terminator new at a showroom because that dealer was not an SVT dealer back then, so that was unfortunate. But here's the car at the gas station, looking really good. So that was the next place I took it, and I went and got 91 octane clear. That's the highest octane you can get around here. And the clear means that it has zero ethanol in it, so I like to do that with my car because these sit a lot. And getting the Cobra out for me is always fun because I don't drive it a lot and so it makes it special every time I get it out but I'm not the type of person who will not drive this car to keep the miles down on it I will always take it out and drive it when I feel like it or if I feel like I haven't driven it enough lately I'll get it out so it's just really special to get it out and enjoy especially that bright competition orange paint it's really fun to look at so you can just see how clean the car stays doesn't get driven in the rain or anything, clean exhaust. still just warm to the touch not even hot car drives around just fine and everything's good on it low miles 34,000 miles so I just enjoyed driving the car around and taking it out so that's the update for the competition orange terminator cobra thanks for watching i appreciate all the positive comments and stay tuned for more mustang content